Okay, on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've downloaded these four video clips from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to those in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. I've got a blank project running here. I'm going to drag and drop these video clips onto the timeline. Once I've drag and drop them onto the timeline, I don't really want this audio, so I'm going to select the clips that have audio, right click on it, unlink them, and I can select those audio tracks and just delete them. So the goal is to add multiple transitions. So you could have 50 video clips in here. You've done all your editing and you just want to put a simple transition between each video clip, right? You don't want to have to drag and drop them one by one. So to do that, we can go over to our effects control panel, go to the video transitions and pick the video transition that you like. I'm just going to use the cross dissolve, default cross dissolve. I'm going to right click on it and say set as default transition. So when I set that as default transition, it's going to have this blue box around it. I can then select all of the video clips onto the timeline and press the control key and then press D. So control and D for Delta, right? Control D. And you might get this message pop up saying insufficient media. The transition will contain repeated frames. I won't worry about that too much. I've tested it and it seems okay. So when you click OK and you click the play button, you'll see that it will transition between each video clip without too much of a problem. So if you have any issues like that, you can tweak the transitions directly yourself. But if you want to add multiple transitions super fast, this is the easiest way to do it. It will even fade them in and fade them out at the end. So we can move over here on a timeline and we can check the transition between these ones. And it's just got this nice little cross dissolve. That's a typical sort of transition that I'll use inside my video content. Here we can see the final one and when we get towards the end because we're using the cross dissolve and it's added that to the very end of the video clip it will fade out right it fades out and if we go to the beginning it will fade in as well okay so that's how i add multiple um, or transitions to multiple video clips inside adobe premiere pro and this is the quick and nice easy way to do that let's go ahead and minimize this close down this folder that's the end of this video tutorial don't forget to subscribe so you can access lots of free video tutorials on my youtube channel and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial